Ooh. Y'all, wear what you want when you want to wear it. Because when you're confident, it shows. So, wear what you want and as you please, okay? Okay. First of all, I want to start off by saying that this is the hardest tag that I've ever done. This tag had me on my ass. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Maria, or it's MJ here on YouTube. So in today's video, I have another tag. I know another tag there has been a lot of tags going around and i really appreciate all of you guys that have tagged me because as you guys know i like to do tags they're like easy videos to do but back to back it's like you know and i think it kind of ruins the fun when it's so many of them um back to back but i do have another one coming up just to give you guys a little heads up it was the perfume collection i believe it was so i have that one that i'm working on i have not forgotten moon but this one was brought to you by my bestie now which is crazy to me because um i started off as a whole fan and now we're like besties me her and the other girls Hold on, I didn't even mention who, but Becky. Rebecca Koya, so I'm sure you guys know who she is. Of course, I'll put it on screen and I'll put it down in the description box below. I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. It's like super raspy. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. Um, But yeah, she tagged me in this tag. This is one of the most, I wanted to kill her and she knows this already. This was one of the most anxiety tags ever. Essentially, the tag is picking two perfumes for each season. So we have the day, we have the night, and we have four seasons anxiety to the next level i had to let go of perfumes that are so dear to me and i feel like i was cheating on them it was a hard one and the worst part of it all is last night late last night let me add i had um you know gathered the perfumes that i was going to discuss today and this morning i went to watch her video again and i missed one very very small very small detail which was very crucial to the video and it was if your whole perfume collection just burned crash poof gone by gonzo which perfumes are you going to end up with only eight perfumes may i add so this is very similar to the um 10 perfumes for life which i have been planning on coming up with later on of course but this one is harder it's only eight perfumes for life anxiety to the next level and i have a little bit of ocd too so <sighs> It was hard okay so if you guys are interested in seeing this tag then please keep on watching all right so the first season that becky started off with was summer and i was so torn between this one and a tom ford yes i said tom ford fragrance i have one in my collection that's the only one that has worked with my skin and that i actually like and this is one that i didn't want to mention i have been mentioning it a lot on this channel and I don't want to bore you guys, but it is um, one of my top perfumes, so I had to mention it. I'm sorry. And it's just so damn good. So this is Express Love, and I've been raving about this fragrance. I've worn it for a very long time, but a couple of you have also gotten this fragrance. I'm going to put on screen some comments that I have received from you guys or DMs of you guys loving this fragrance. So that way you guys can see what other people think about it as well. I went with this one not only because it has a sentimental value obviously but it is also very um appropriate and it's very very refreshing and it's more of a modernized more mature take on a fruity floral it's not very juvenile it could be worn by young ladies because i wore this in high school and i loved it it's slightly sweet it's like a fruity tart fragrance it never gets cloying and it's a very like womanly clean fresh scent i love it and musky there's like this vanilla musk that rounds it all up and it dries crazy it's a fragrance that also drives a lot of guys crazy from what i have noticed if you know you know <laughs> let me set the mood for you guys so picture yourself your hair is all done up it could be curly it could be straight it could be wavy it doesn't matter but your hair is done your toes are looking a1 and you have some cute little sandals on you have some nice form-fitting jeans and you have this white bright clean crisp t-shirt with like a nice cute little Panama hat. Picture that. With this fragrance, kill them. Kill them. Yeah, I had to keep it. It's one of my like ultimate favorite fragrances. So this is your summer nighttime fragrance. And this is a new one to my collection, which I have not talked about on this channel. And this is uh, Versace Crystal Noir. Um, this was one of the perfumes that I talked about really wanting. And I'm so happy that I have. I don't even have to spray it and I could just smell it. This is a very unique fragrance from the first day that I tried it. When I ordered a small tiny little sample, 
um it reminded me of the beach at night now i do have the edt and i have no idea if it has coconut but i'm gonna let you guys know what i smell why because i feel like sometimes notes are there as a reference but you can still perceive other things you know what i mean so there's certain times that i smell little things and fragrances that it's not even close to being a note for example mac velvet teddy I smell tobacco is there tobacco no there isn't so i smell coconut in the edt correct me if i'm wrong if there is um coconut like i said i don't know but it's not in a creamy sweet uh coconut not milky in any way it's not that type of coke more of a coconut refreshing water similar to rihanna rebel fleur let me spray it on my wrist Jesus, it's like projection on this is also really good. I've only worn it once since I got it, but it lasted all day. Great performance. Yeah, it has this um, darkness to it. It's very mysterious, alluring, seductive, smexy. Smexy. It's, it has this like saltiness to it. Um, that's probably why it reminds me of the peach. I don't know it's it's hard to describe it also has this like coldness about it um it's delicious um um salty spicy coconutty cold dark uh, it's good um i want to do a full-on review on this fragrance because i feel like it deserves a full-on review um i'm just so happy that i have it all right, so now moving on to fall. Fall, autumn, otoño. <laughs> My day fragrance. I went with Ugo Boss, the scent, private accord for her. And I love it so much. I know that it's new, but I had to pick it because it was a love at first sniff situation for me. I know a lot of people have longevity problems with it but i got it with that expectation i got it expecting it to be very poor and if i had to reapply i would just reapply so i think the fact that i was expecting it to be so low longevity wise it surprised me <laughs> so it's not a beast it's definitely not a beast i don't want you guys to think that it's a beast but it's a normal fragrance and it lasts like about six hours if i overspray not the best of course not the best but i think we spec too much sometimes and this to me is perfectly fine if it takes me through a whole work shift i'm perfectly fine Ooh, y'all becky also got it for the scent itself so i'm excited to see what she thinks about it first of all let's look at the spray do you guys see that i hope you all caught that But I went with this one because it's very fallish. With that being said, I would wear this year round because I don't care and where I live, there's not much seasons going on. But I did pick it for fall daytime because I felt that it was appropriate because it smells like fall and it looks like fall. Look at the, the gradient effect. Doesn't it remind you of like pumpkin pies? Like I said in a previous video, it was very realistic to me. I don't want to get too deep into it. There's a couple of perfumes on here that I want to do full on personal reviews for each fragrance. But when I smell this one, I think of a pumpkin patch and I picture myself. Hold on. Let me get in the mood. I had a pumpkin patch with like culottes jeans. You have a mock neck, not a turtleneck, a mock neck. And you have these brown boots and you have a cute little like brown fedora on picture that okay that's what i get it's like a caramelized mandarin dipped in um dark chocolate and then it just like slowly fades away into this like delicious cocoa powder with tonka bean and i love it so much and i do want to do a full-on review for ugo boss the scent private accord for her now we're in nighttime fall and I went with the love of my life and I went with black opium um, from YSL um, it has sentimental value to me so I love it of course longevity is absolute trash ridiculous actually for the price of it it's really bad but the scent itself <clears throat> come on get it together <laughs> to me it's a sweet spicy even boozy scent I don't know if I'm getting manipulated by the, um, the cap, but um, to me it smells a little boozy and I like it. It's like caramelized, it's sweet, 
it's yummy it's warm and i love this perfume so much so much i'm gonna cheat a little like i said longevity on this one is absolute trash ridiculous but um i have zara gardenia and this one is a full-on dupe we got this one before black opium because i couldn't afford black opium and it smells literally the same but this one lasts so much longer than black opium so i'm gonna cheat in a way because i would keep both of these um this one for sentimental value because i need to look at the bottle because i mean sentimental value <laughs> and um this one for longevity reasons and because this one is so expensive i don't want to use it all the time and this one it's not expensive at all like at all i think it's like 20 dollars for the 3.4 ounce so super super inexpensive it makes me think like i'm at a bar you know and it's seductive and it's alluring and it's addictive and it's warm and it's captivating it's just a lovely coffee vanilla that on my skin it gets like caramelized oh and it smells so good since everyone finds this so generic guess who doesn't smell it around anymore me so guess who's going to smell different then me because no one wears it anymore just a little off track i know i get off track sometimes but um gabby recently talked about in one of her videos how levy abel and um black opium get a lot of hate because they're so generic like i've said in a couple of my videos i feel like people get um manipulated by other people's um opinions especially when it's a negative opinion um <laughs> If one person loves a perfume, everyone decides to love it. If another person hates a perfume, everyone decides to hate it. Wear what you want when you want to wear it. Because when you're confident, it shows. So wear what you want and as you please, okay? Okay. And 540, for example, how it's so complex. Yes, it is. And I'm not going to take away from how complex it is. But everyone wears it now. So does it take away from the complexity of 540? Of course it doesn't. But is it generic now and mainstream? Hell yeah, it is because everyone wears it. It's one of the most popular niche fragrances now. Along with um, Perfumes de Marley Delina. Do I love both of them? Hell yeah, I do. Do I still want them? Hell yeah, I do. Just a little sidetrack, sidetrack. They smell the same. <laughs> they smell the same. If you can't afford black opium, get Zara Gardenia. If you are interested in trying black opium, if you've never tried it, of course, it's more bank for your buck. But like I said, it has sentimental value for me. So, you know. All right, now we're moving on to winter. Okay, winter was another one that was a little bit hard for me to pick because I have a couple that I liked. But I decided to go with my Zara RWA. I was stuck between this one and Angel Muse. I actually had Angel Muse um but the fact that this one i wore it to very specific little events during the uh winter time and i just over wore this one like crazy i had to go with zara rwa projection is absolute trash but it's also very affordable so i did take into account some stuff that are affordable oh i love it i love it i sprayed it this morning to decide it was the deciding factor <laughs> between um this one and angel muse to me it's um cozy it's sweet it's syrupy it's warm it's addictive it's delicious i get a very realistic coconutty spiced up boozy eggnog and creamy at the same time yeah i had to pick it because it reminds me of holiday time especially like christmas and new year's day making um eggnog or ponche what we call it um late at night and i mean like one in the morning with my grandma we got the music going people are dancing the kids are running around and it's it's a whole vibe it's a mood it's also one of the fragrances that i wore a lot to go to sleep because it's super calming and you just smell like delicious like edible i know that um Jeanne got this recently and she says that um she layers this one with nirvana bourbon oh my god that's another one that i really want i saw oh my god i forgot her name i think it's yummy something or is that on instagram i forgot but i'm gonna put it on screen and of course i'll link the channel down below but she made me want nirvana bourbon I added it to my cart and i was gonna purchase it but alien absolute is not coming back in stock on fragrance net and it's pissing me off as a matter of fact 
as a matter of fact if one of you guys have alien absolute and you guys want to sell it to me don't wax the price though i know you guys want to make your little monies or whatever but don't try me either but if one of you guys is selling your alien absolute because you didn't like it or you just have backup um stock or whatever let me know i will purchase it from you because i'm trying to get my nose on that damn perfume for so long at this point and i have a couple of perfumes waiting in my fragrance net cards nirvana bourbon being one of them i have um another roberto cabali fragrance waiting there and at this point like i just need to process the cards and i need to get my hands on alien absolute all right so now moving on to the night winter fragrance um i had mac velvet teddy but um i had to go with one that was way more special for me and um like i said um, I put in certain perfumes in here that I've never talked about but the fact that I completely forgot about the if the whole collection just crashes and burns so I had to put this one back because it's special to me and I can't live without it so I added alien from Moogler and you guys know that I love this fragrance it's a powerful dominant personality old money perfume I love it it smells rich it smells a luxe and it smells delicious to me it's also so strong that i feel not feel i know can protect you know on your thick layer of clothing so i did have to think about that one and i also have a sentimental value to this fragrance because i wore it um for my graduation and i graduated in december december is also my birthday so if y'all want to send me stuff in december you know yeah, i'll be here <laughs> all right so now moving on to spring if there is one season that i had the most problems with was definitely um spring and let me tell you why <laughs> so i had sophia but i had to add this one because i overused this one like crazy in the springtime and i fell in love with this one before i fell in love with sophia and i really really like this perfume and this is roberto cavalli wait hold on let me say it again roberto cavalli <laughs> gemma di paradiso Ge oh wow that came out pretty good gemma di paradiso watch out watch out watch out watch out it was actually in my top spring perfumes now that i think about it it was also in a favorite of mine during the springtime so i really like this fragrance i will say longevity not there projection definitely not a beast as i mentioned before i have to overspray it in order for it to last but if i do overspray it it does last there was someone in someone's video hold on let me think i mentioned Whose video was it? Because I want to give credit. <laughs> now it's going to bother me. Damn it. I'm not going to go through the notifications, to be honest. It was Gabby's video. Yes? Yes, yes. It was Gabby's video. Um, She talked about this one. She says that she doesn't get much vanilla. I get vanilla. I get amber, vanilla, slightly fruity, slightly floral scent. But there was one person that commented on her video saying that this reminded them of a beachy vanilla, like a beachy appropriate vanilla. I so agree with that. It's a beautiful aquatic bottle. The perfume, the juice inside of it, not so much aquatic. So don't let that fool you. I got this one because of Amber. Amber has me on this Roberto Cavalli um, kick. They're still very good and very crowd pleasing as well. Different but crowd pleasing. Does that make sense? Like this perfume, it's not the most complex thing in the world. But I really like it. There's something very um, addictive to it and very enticing, very like seductive, very pretty, very alluring to it. This is going to be my scent of the day. Yeah, I can smell it on myself. It just, I can't describe it. It is pretty hard to describe, but it has this white floral, vanilla, amber, pear, beachy, beachy vanilla. The way that person described it, shout out to you because that is how um, I perceive it as well. All right, so next we have YSL Libre. Li libre, 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 Libre. YSL Libre. Je ne parle pas français. And um, hold on, my camera's kind of dirty. Yeah, it's probably because of the perfume. Right now, it's a little bit cleaner. <laughs> okay, so I picked this one because it became one of my favorite perfumes and I had no idea how to include it. Um, and I felt like spring would be it. I would wear this also like fall, winter, summer. Mind you, we don't really have seasons here, but I felt like each other night perfume was the most appropriate for its season. And then I had spring left, so I included this one. Like I said, I don't wear perfumes according to the seasons. There are certain fragrances that I gravitate towards, of 
course according to the weather how i feel etc etc that's also another controversial topic that i don't understand why it's so shameful to um want to get compliments based on how you smell for me getting told that i smell good is one of the best compliments ever so yeah there's nothing wrong with you wanting other people to think that you smell good but whatever that's another topic for another day to me it's this like lavender i get jasmine i get orange blossom sweet vanilla but mostly it's like a lavender and vanilla sort of fragrance but i do get the other ones um and it's soapy and it also has this like champagne sparkly vibe to it mm-hmm Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also want to do a full-on review on this uh, fragrance but this one is more youthful it's a little bit more fun she's a little bit more approachable Lux, and it smells rich but it smells like new money she just has this like inviting um, very youthful vibe it's one of my newer perfumes but I had to it. now i like a little bit of everything but i do like the fragrances that have that character they have that dominant personality but this is one that i would keep for the spring nighttime very date appropriate as well and this one alien it smells older more mature and it smells like old money old money not new money honey <laughs> all right wow so that was my um eight perfumes so two perfumes for each season that was a hard tag like shout out becky to you because this put me on and um it was a little bit complicated but shout out to you because i like a little bit of a challenge this was definitely harder than the 10 for 10 guys guys like taking away just two perfumes is a lot okay um but i'm gonna mention just some quick little um honorable mentions because i feel so I feel like I'm cheating on my other perfumes. So one of them being Sophia. I really did want to mention that one. Um, especially for like spring and summer. I love that perfume and you guys know that I love it. Um, but I had to go with the one that I fell in love with first. Because I didn't want to be like cheating. <laughs> so so I went with Gemma di Paradiso. But Sophia, I'm sorry girl. I'm sorry. And the Versace Dylan Blue with Fancy. That was another runner up didn't make the cut but yeah i hope you guys enjoy that video i hope that it was entertaining for you to watch me suffer <sighs> having to cheat on my other perfumes and shout out becky thank you for making this fun tag i wanted to kill you low-key but thank you for tagging me i want you guys to comment also down below what are two perfumes that you guys would pick for each season i want to give you guys the little challenge there and now i didn't think about tagging people so now i have to think about who did i talk about in this video i talk about nicole no i didn't talk about nicole but i'm actually gonna tag her so she came up in my mind so i'm gonna tag nicole because you don't post often and i need you to post okay so i'm gonna tag you to do this tag who did i talk about amber i'm gonna tag amber another one that doesn't post and i love her content so you need to be posting as well so i'm gonna tag amber to do this tag especially because she's the one that put me on to gemma di paradiso roberto cavalli <laughs> and i'm gonna tag um black opium sentimental express me mila mila's not gonna do this shit so i'm not gonna tag i'm gonna tag are my girls doing this tag already yes my girls are doing this tag already so i can't tag them gabby i'm gonna tag gabby i'm gonna tag you by the way this is a uh, between you and i um, if you find Armani code satin, you let me, me know first so I can buy it, okay? okay? Let me know, by the way, girls, when you guys do this video so I can go watch it and support you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already and you keep coming back, subscribe already. You might as well subscribe, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys. And I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me. I have found... It's crazy i have found some amazing friends in this community and thank you guys so much and with that being said if you guys are not following me on instagram follow me there i'm pretty active on there and um, well not really active on my post but i do put a lot on my stories by the way if you have followed me on instagram and i haven't followed back just dm me let me know and we can start talking from there um and with that being said i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>